ah, let's do another one, why not? You know, black people are athletes and entertainers, so... The fuck? <laughs> might as well take advantage of my genetic code. <laughs> It's true. It's factual. I think that black people are the best athletes and entertainers. So I think if you're black and you're not utilizing that part of your talent, then you're shortchanging yourself, actually. For real. Mm -hmm. As racist as it may sound, it's true. You may be more genetically better off equipped to play basketball or football or run, jump, sing, dance, rap, act, fuck, whatever, break dance, slam dunk, basketball, jump, etc., etc., etc. Is what it is. If you can do it better than the average person. If I were born in like Guatemala or San Salvador and I was like a four foot tall guy, whatever, I'm probably going to become a racehorse jockey or a high lie player or something that where my small size and weight would benefit me and give me an advantage over the rest of the field. I probably wouldn't want to be a sumo wrestler or a basketball player or football player or thing of that nature, right? Looking at myself, though, you know, the black Ethiopian, I do what I do. I do a lot of long distance running. I enjoy it. It's a great passion of mine and I'm good at it. So why not do it? This show is just me being black, me being myself. It's the black side of me that that craves camera attention, white women, bacon, shit like that, barbecue, West Coast hip hop, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You have to nurture both sides of yourself, I would say, from uh, from really a holistic perspective to be totally happy. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, you can't forget or deny or neglect a part of you or whatever. So it's in your best interest to do whatever your folks are doing or used to doing. You'll probably be happy or at least you'll feel more like you're in the groove of getting in where you fit in, I guess. You know, everything that I do is, I could see a little bit of my mom and my dad in me, actually. You know, my dad's a greedy slum landlord, so am I. <laughs> you know, my mom's a teacher. I'd like to be a teacher or whatever, but they probably won't let me because I'm in porn movies and shit like that. And I'm like probably a bad example or whatever. I tell people to work for themselves and drop out of school and shit like that the same way I did. So get it how you live or whatever, right? But, you know, you can't, you can't neglect your family, whatever people in your family do. Like, there's some guys on my pop side of the family, they play soccer and shit. I'm not really good at soccer, but I have tried it a few times, and I'm actually pretty okay with it. Even though it's, like, just my very first or second time touching a ball other than, like, in PE class at school or something. You know what I mean? It's like, there, there is some certain innate natural muscle memory or ability in me that enables me to run or play soccer or shit probably more better than the average person so i'd be foolish to not take advantage of that you know my pops is an engineer and i'm kind of an engineer too i'm always building shit constructing shit selling shit i have the uh, i think most africans in general like to be merchants they like to be sellers they like to be you know this this African warlord pirate type of character and that's basically what the fuck I am you know what I'm saying and the black side of me is just a little more pimpish and a little more I, I like this camera shit I like holding a mic I like talking to people and being in crowds and being I'm cool with motherfuckers I like big crowds and shit like that social distancing wow so anyway, yeah, um, let's get to a topic. Fuck it, I'm rambling. Thank you for listening. This is the Shemmy Show, by the way. Give me a like if you want to, or share the video even better. Or talk shit about it, etc. It's all good. Hashtag the Shemmy Show, thumbs up, subscribe, bell. You know the routine. I'm trying to like follow some YouTube rules and shit since I'm on their platform. I may as well try to fuck with it a little bit. I'm trying to abide by their rules, actually. I'm doing my fucking best and i'm trying to pick topics that won't get me subs banned etc etc et but it's kind of hard so if it happens it happens but you know I'm, I'm not in this shit here for the money nobody's paying me youtube's voluntary i don't put no ads on this shit if you want to support me go and look at my movies or search for shimmy cash simple 
Okay. Ain't changing my name no time soon. Same shimmy cash since the 90s or whatever. So fuck it. Look me up. Okay, so here's a topic I wanted to talk about. Um, it was about, I just titled it The Marriage Contract or whatever, right? What I like and don't like about it and what I think needs to be altered and whatever. And I'll give you my logic on it or whatever, right? Now, for those of you guys that don't know, I've been married before. I was married for six or seven years or something like that. I got married very young when I was like 18, 19 years old or whatever. It's all good. I think everybody should probably get married at some point in their life just so they have a, a reference or whatever, you know, at some point. If you don't like it, you could always undo it or whatever. Fuck. You know what I'm saying? But it's not nothing to be afraid of just for you guys that are wondering or whatever. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a contract. It's a piece of paper. It's something that you might sign similar to setting up telephone service or something the world is full of contracts and marriage is just another contract at the end of the day and a lot of people don't realize that but it's slightly different than a lot of contracts but contract nevertheless so um, a lot of people ask me would I get married again and I say to them absolutely I would I just want to have a better contract that's all so this is my show about things that I would change or update or allow and modify in my own type of marriage contract if I were to rewrite the rules and who knows how binding that shit might be because somebody else's court crown authority might overrule it so it's really kind of bullshit or whatever unless you own your own private island or something like that and still you know pirates will come etc so these are all just theories okay just fuck with me on this here okay all right so just looking at my notepad here see um marriage contract i made a little note here okay these are some of the these are some of the flaws that i think are in the marriage contract okay shit that i would change is all marriages should be instantly since marriage is basically a contract between the you and the state or whatever the state's very much so involved so i would i would say that any time any time for any reason if wife calls 911 on the husband or husband calls 911 on the wife or vice versa or some shit or whatever you both dial at the same time i think that's grounds for marriages to be immediately dissolved and expunged or expelled or whatever the fuck they call it or terminated etc cetera, etc cetera. you cannot be having allegiance to third parties or whatever basically is what i'm getting at i, I have a problem with anyone that meaning like the state etc you should have ultimate authority you and your you and your wife husband etc should have an agreement that supersedes whatever the state has or whatever and if you have to involve motherfuckers with guns and fire trucks and shit coming to your house because you have an argument or something like that then you know where were those guys at on your wedding day when you were up on the altar did you also have a couple a couple killers cops <laughs> or whatever on the fucking front row firefighter paramedic ems social services did you have all these motherfuckers up in the pews when you were getting married when you signed the paper with the fucking preacher priest whatever the person was no well if they weren't present that day then they should not be involved in your current affairs or whatever your current affairs when you're married should be one-on-one -on -one with you and the other person in my personal opinion so i would say that any calls to any state authority third party whatever whatever you voided the contract basically it's like you're terminating your lease by not paying it or doing something totally fucked up that's one change i would make to the marriage contract i would put in the 911 clause that yeah you dial 911 it, sh it should look you up see if you're already married and that should be like the instant divorce button like it should be like a dee 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 oh oh divorce yep as of this time date etc you know my personal opinion you know because i've been in situations where women have been 911 happy for real and if you black it ain't no joke you know you got you got seven armed killers showing up on your front lawn because somebody is unhappy you know calling up fake kidnapping charges etc fake assaults fake this fake that and they don't know that they're just they're just some dumb fucks responding to a fucking thing on their little panasonic laptop in the goddamn car the tough book or whatever you know so they don't know anything about you or whatever so shit can easily go wrong a lot of people have lost their lives because their wives have called in over some bullshit or whatever and then 
you know, show me your hands, that kind of bullshit happens. I've been in that position before and it's not very cool. And I think that's something that needs to be changed about the marriage contract, etc. For real, you know, you need to go and deal with people one on one. And when you get to the point where you cannot talk to one another without a third party armed authority present, then there's definitely a problem and that should be grounds for termination of marriage in my opinion. Okay, next topics I would change about the marriage contract. I wrote a couple. This is a very long list, actually. Oh, uh, boy. Trying to read my own writing here. Can't walk. Oh, this is bad, actually. But I'm going to say it anyway, because I wrote it down. Okay, the immobility clause, okay? I've seen this mostly with very elderly people or whatever, but Sometimes in life, right, there are some people who start refusing to walk, like for real. Like I'm not talking about like, you know, you need to get some exercise and walk around the block. I'm talking about like they refuse to get up out the bed and go to the fucking toilet on their own. They're, you know, bedpan ridden, whatever, and they're not making an effort to fucking move. They know the kid's situation's bad. They know they need to improve it, but they don't do anything about it. I think if you're that kind of person, are you the person that just actually like, quote unquote, gives up on life and you just start becoming a liability that someone's got to drag around with a fucking rope? I think that's also grounds to terminate marriage automatically or whatever. Absolutely. You didn't sign up for that. You didn't sign up for someone to be, you know, sucks if you get disabled, lose a limb, something like that. But you should reevaluate your life and then realize that you can't be as useful to the other person if you're fucked up. If a man loses his ability to earn a living, etc., loses his leg, loses his arm, it's fucked up. But, you know, there's no guarantee your wife's going to be there to take care of you, etc., etc. And you shouldn't expect that shit. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't expect someone to be your lifelong.